Hello, myself Mohammad Farooq Mansuri, working as assistant professor in the Department of Pharmacy, AGS ITS Indore. Today we will discuss basic concept of titration, their types, and how they all are performed. So let us begin our discussion with the titration. What is the meaning of titration? So titration is nothing but say titrometric method in which we can determine the concentration of an unknown solution. by reacting it with a concent concentrated solution whose concentration is known to us if you wish to find out the concentration of uh, an acid solution you would titrate the acid solution with a solution of a base of known concentration or you can also titrate a base of unknown concentration with an acid of known concentration types of titration on the basis of reaction involved basically there are four types of titration first one is acid based titration in which uh, acid react with the base second one is complexometric titration in which a complexing agent react with the metal ion third one is your redox titration in which uh, an oxidizing agent react with the reducing agent or reducing agent react with the oxidizing agent and last one is precipitation titration in which uh, a precipitating agent react with the uh, metal ion or an ion to form an insoluble complex which get precipitated out during the titration now let us start some discussion regarding with acid based titration acid based titration Uh, is a type of titration in which acidic or basic titrant react with an analyte that is base or acid for example if if we have a, an acidic solution whose concentration is known to us then we can determine the concentration of a base or basic solution by titrating it with the acidic solution it's it is simply a laboratory method which is used for the determ determination of concentration of an unknown acid or base using a neutralization reaction second one is your complexometric titration this is this titration is completely based on the formation of a complex complex between the analyte and titrant generally the complex complexing agent generally which is used in this complexometric titration is edta edta is nothing but ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid which is used as a chelating agent or complexing agent the beauty of this titration is that if we have a solution of metal ion whose concentration is unknown to us then that metal ion solution is directly titrated with the edta solution whose concentration is known to us so in this titration first of all metal ion react with the erythrochrome black t as a indicator and form metal ebt complex which is have a distinguished color later on this metal ebt complex is again titrated with the standard solution of edta forming a metal edta complex and uh, releasing the free form of ebt erythrochrome black t which have another distinguished color in its free form so by changing the uh, color of the solution we can directly determine the end point of uh, titration and uh, this complexometric titration is specifically used for the uh, determination of metal ions third one is precipitation titration in which the analyte analyte means uh, the ions whose concentration is unknown to us that analyte and titrant react to form a precipitate for example if we want to determine the concentration of chloride ion in our sample then chloride ion can be determined by precipitation titration here the precipitant used is silver nitrate agno3 agno3 is a precipitating agent it react with chloride ion and form a insoluble silver chloride agcl which gets precipitated out during the titration so in this way <coughs> we can determine the concentration of chloride ion uh, until and unless 
all the chloride ion get precipitated then automatically uh, press formation of precipitate uh, uh, stops and that marks the end point of that titration third one is redox titration and uh, this titration is completely based upon the concept of uh, two types of reaction first one is uh, reduction and second one is oxidation this titration is known by the name redox because in this titration both oxidation and reduction reaction takes place simultaneously in this titration this there are two types of uh, solution oxidizing solution and reducing solution or oxidant and reductant both of them can act as a standard solution means we can uh, take oxidizing agent as a standard solution then it is known by the name oxidant here oxi uh, oxidant and we can take reducing ag agent as a standard solution then it is known by the name reductant now let's see uh, how this titration uh, uh, is performed for example if we have a solution of ferrous ion fe2 plus and we want to know the concentration of this fe2 plus ion in a solution then we have to titrate this fe2 plus ion solution with the serous ion solution that that is serous sulfate ceso4 so in this uh, titration this ceric ion act as a oxidizing agent and ferrous ion act as a reducing agent this ceric ion oxidizes this ferrous ion into ferric ion and this oxidizing agent itself get reduced into ceric ion c3 plus redox titration where the titrant is an oxidizing or reducing agent and redox titration is carried out by using a potentiometer or a redox indicator to determine the end point this all references is taken by uh, taken from the book uh, modern analytical chemistry written by david harvey published by mcgraw hills companies new york thanks for your patience here